In a humble little house that needed some paint lived a tired Mickey Mouse trying to sleep, but he can't. You see, the problems were plenty in this house that he had. The roof always creaked, and the drafts, they were bad. The furnace turned on with a clatter and clunk, making pipes sputter, steam, rattle, and plunk. With a slap and a bang, the shutters did slam. This noise, it continued ad nauseam. He rolled and he tossed under his pillow and sheets. Poor Mickey was wishing the sounds they would cease. I can't take this racket another night longer. I thought that I could, but I couldn't be wronger. He threw off his blankets and slunk to the sink. Perhaps I'll feel better after a drink. But the water came out in a way unexpected. It sprayed from the drain in his face, misdirected. He wiped off his mug in angry defeat. Ooh, that's the last straw. My decision's complete. I'm fed up with clanking, cur slamming and squeaking, the whistling and knocking and roof always creaking. Poor Mickey was irked, a bit peeved, you might say. His mind was made up that he must move away. So he gathered his things and emptied each drawer. The last thing he did was lock the front door. Then Pluto and he marched up the next street where new houses stood, all spiffy and neat. He found a nice dwelling that drew his attention with automatic devices of the latest invention. This house is electric, said the salesman with pride. If you push this red button, you'll travel inside. With the flick of a switch and the pull of a lever, the house it transformed. This is really quite clever. The design's ergonomic for comfort, you see. Grinned the salesman as he pushed buttons one, two, and three. The furniture folds right into the wall. It makes a great shortcut into the hall. This kitchen is sparkling. It's synthetic steel. There's even a robot who can cook you a meal. But how do the floors here all stay so clean? Should dust ever settle, there's a vacuum machine. Are there shutters that bang, slap, rattle, or slam? Not a one, not a bit. Not at all, my good man. I'll take this new house, said Mickey with zeal. After escrow and closing, the contract was sealed. This newfangled house is now where I'll stay. He then thanked the salesman and sent him away. So Mickey settled back in his modern recliner with buttons galore. Ah, what could be finer? Whatever he wanted was his right away. With a touch of a button, he got a snack tray. His chair, it reclined and rubbed his back so. Then on came some music and dimmed the lights low. Said Mickey with a yawn as he scratched on his head. Ooh, it's time for a bath, then I'll toddle to bed. He pressed the red button and rolled across the floor. His chair went upstairs through the new bathroom door. With a splash and a splunk, the brushes did clean. What a wonderful thing, this bathing machine. Special arms then conveyed him off to his bed and tucked him in gently. Then a story was read. Mickey was cozy, all snuggled up tight. But he tossed and he turned as his thoughts did excite of buttons and switches and movable stairs, computer controls on reclining chairs. There's so many things in this house with the play. I want to stay up. I'll just sleep in the day. He leapt from his covers and slid past the clock. He flung open the door but discovered it blocked. There stood the robot, its finger it wagged. Before Mickey knew it, by the seat he was grabbed. This just isn't right. I don't need a rest. I want to get up. Stop being a pest. Mickey scampered away, heading straight for the door, but the robot was fast and stopped him once more. Bedtime is fine, but this is my house. You're making me angry. Don't cheese off this mouse. So he turned and he climbed out of the open window and snuck away quietly on tippy tiptoe. But little did he think that out in the back, the robot was waiting for another attack. Enough is enough. I'll take this no more. If you want to play rough, get ready for war. A bucket of water. That's just the right thing. When the robot comes in, I'll pull on the string. Mickey readied his plan with his own little trap. The robot came in, and then, with a snap, the bucket tipped over, and water came out. It splashed and it soaked him completely throughout. He stopped and he fizzed that man made of steel. He jolted and bolted and began to unreal. 
Electricity surged in the house all about, zapping the circuits and shorting them out. Food from the fridge was flung in the air. It splattered and spattered in the poor mouse's hair. He ducked and he dodged, but he could not escape. The jelly that hit him was cherry, not grape. Back into the bath he was dragged very quick and repeatedly scrubbed with a soap on a stick. All sudsy and wet Mickey Mouse tried to flee, but the vacuum was now on a house cleaning spree. The hoses they swung, they flailed and they sucked. The brushes whooshed past, forcing Mickey to duck. He grabbed up a lamp and began to fight back. But right at that moment, the recliner attacked. Mechanical hands squeezed him up tight, but Mickey was valiant. He put up a fight. When things looked their bleakest and all hope seemed lost, Mickey picked up the chair and gave it a toss. It hit the controls and smashed them to bits. The buttons, they flashed and flickered in fits. Mickey spotted his chance to get safely away. He snatched up his dog and then he did say, This place is a monster, not what I'd call home. He watched that new house shake, sputter and groan. It fell with a crash. In less than a minute, he turned to his pup and said, Glad we weren't in it. Dejected and sad, they both strode away. Mickey and Pluto with nowhere to stay. The rays of the morning added some light, greeting Mickey Mouse with a warm, friendly sight. A little wood house that needed some paint. It wasn't quite perfect, but still, it was quaint. Oh, we could stay here just for a while, said Mickey to Pluto with a wry little smile. Later that night, all warm in his bed, Mickey Mouse snuggled up as sleep came to his head. The furnace, it clanked and rattled and shocked. The shutters flew back, they slammed and knocked. The wind, it did whistle round the chimney, it moaned. But Mickey didn't stir, because he knew he was home.